one point I wanted a custom globe, right? And I wanted to be able to put, you know, I wanted to make a custom globe. I wanted to make a custom earth. So obviously I start with a profile, right? And I always have a guide to make sure that I'm dead on money on that profile. That a path, as you guys know, is not closed, right? And then of course we just go effect 3D revolve. View InstaGlow. <clears throat> Remember when you are setting this kind of thing up, if your blend steps aren't at least a hundred, you're going to get banding, right? I'm going to zoom in here and do that again. Come on, brain. Right, so I'm getting clear banding, right? Make sure that your blend steps are at least a hundred so that you're gonna get a relatively nice smooth gradient, right? So um, maybe I want my light source to be something like that. Um, I can increase the ambient light back off the highlight size, you know, get myself a nice looking glow there. Okay. Now, what if I wanna actually turn that into earth? <clears throat> so you guys might recall this, right? We use this to go over image tracing. Okay. After I finished the image trace, I just colored them green. You'll notice that I broke them apart, right? So I broke apart Eurasia, you know, and Australia, etc., into one side of the planet, because that basically is one side of the planet. And then the Pacific Ocean and North and the Americas is the other side. I shrunk Greenland back down to a practical size. Even still, it's bigger than Australia here, which we know is not the case. Anyway, and I've made that the Americas, okay? So if I save these as symbols, I can then plot symbols on my 3D object. I don't know if you guys were shown that or not, okay? So I can shrink this down to, you know, sort of a practical size and I'll drag those in each as a symbol. <clears throat> I still don't understand why the default is movie clip, but anyway, graphic, and that will be Eurasia. Excellent. And I will bring in North America. And that is the Americas. That's a graph. Okay. So depending on which side of the planet I want to illustrate, I can now map that onto my 3D sphere. So go back to my 3D revolve and we go into map art. <clears throat> now what you're going to see here is a big sine wave. Okay. Now that should look familiar to you if you're anything of a space nut. Right? So I've been a space nut since I was eight years old, right? And if you, you know, if you look at uh, any NASA tracking of any satellite, what are you going to see? You're going to see a flat view of the Earth. Uh oh, maybe we're not going to see NASA tracking chart. I don't know. Come on, help me out here. There you go. Right? You're always going to see that sine wave, no matter what. You're going to see it because the Earth is round and that's the plot of the thing going around the Earth, right? So when you see that in Illustrator, it's telling you where you have planet and where you, you know, so literally the light side of the Earth and the dark side, of the Earth, right? So I can see all my symbols that are in my symbol library are immediately available here and I can grab Eurasia and then I have to try and place it in there, right? So I want to place it on the light side. That's the, the side that we're looking at. You can distort just like you can distort normally. So you still have to be holding shift as you increase the size of that, you know, and just like that, you can get your art mapped really nicely, right? Looks relatively believable. I think I have Australia a little too far south. There you go.
And of course, because we can rotate that live, we can decide what our view is. If I wanted to see the Americas, then I would put the Americas. But I just, in case you guys hadn't seen that, I, I thought it was really damn handy, right? Because I was making custom globes really easily that way. Okay, good.